Good morning, everybody. Anthony here with Empire Music, EmpireMusic.com. Right out of the gates, 412-343-5299. That's the phone number to reach us at the shop. I'm filling in for Joe for old this week, uh, showing off. I got an all, as I promised, I think three weeks ago, an all bass version of old this week. You've been getting so many trades. And thank you to everybody that's uh, taken advantage of our trade and trade up event. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link below to see that. If you're on the website, you'll just see trade and event in the uh, top kind of uh, navigation bar. Click on that. And what that basically means is any electric guitar, $7.99 or above, will give you 20% off, 20, excuse me, 20% off your purchase. Easy for me to say as well as maximum trade value that we can give you. So generally we don't do a discount when we do trades, but in this case we're doing it, that's running till the end of the month. So, uh, wow, now that I think about it, we're kind of running low on time for that. Um, so, but again, thanks to everyone that's reached out and done a trade in, trade up, upgrade, downgrade, however you want to look at it, uh, but that's still going on. The big sale though, and a ton of you have taken advantage of this already, smoking deal Taylor guitars uh, you go under acoustic guitars on the website you see Taylor Nam 2024 20% off all of that selected inventory you pick the Taylor guitar that you like add it to your cart use coupon code Nam 24 20% off all of that select Taylor inventory it's a really really good deal there's everything from GS minis all the way up to custom guitars so whether you're looking at a nine or ten thousand dollar guitar or a eight or nine hundred dollar guitar save you some big bucks on that um we're in our youtube studios today not my favorite place to shoot the old this week video but we uh have some chaos kind of ensuing downstairs on our showroom floor so we're up here if you've never gotten a look at where we shoot all of our youtube content it's right here here's the mirror this is the newest edition how you doing up there uh, if you saw my Blooms video that I did uh, for the Earthquaker Devices Blooms Bass uh, Overdrive, lack of a better term, we used that to shoot the downward angle onto the pedal. So we're constantly making some improvements here in the Empire Music YouTube studios, but yeah, kind of a behind the scenes look. So three weeks ago, I promised you all bass, old this week. Well, here it is. Let's start off. Let's start strong. Two awesome Fender Custom Shop models. So one of my favorite jazz basses that they've come out with in a long time uh the 68 i love a maple board on a jazz bass i think it's underrated <coughs> excuse me uh, block inlays on there bound neck vintage voiced pickups in there i just love it's like kind of reminds me of a 70s kind of character Obviously, we're like in the late 60s, but with all the 60s voicing, 60s spacing, this already has the guards off. Beautiful bass. Love that guy. And then another one of my favorites outside, I'm very partial to our Empire uh, 58 basses, but the 63 Custom Shop P in Age Daphne Blue. This one's lightweight. Guards already off again. A 62 hand wound pickup in it. Probably set my second favorite pickup, and I own a bass with that in there. Uh, next to our Empire 58. Flats already on there. Beautiful rosewood board neck on it. Yeah, this is a really, really nice bass as well. Now, we dip down into two Mexican series fenders. Got the Troy Sanders Jaguar bass. Unique pickup configure, or unique tone controls on that when we get into kind of like what, like your rhythm and lead circuit on there. And then a noiseless pickup back in the bridge. So you can really dial in pretty uh, thumpy P bass thing to uh, the very clear and precise mid range of the noiseless pickups. It also has active electronics when we start to engage um, into this like secondary circuit on it. This is a very, very cool looking and sounding bass. Got the matching head cap on there. I was pumped to see this come through used. Our man Mike came through and uh, traded two used on a used, which doesn't qualify for the trade in trade up event, but reach out to us. We're always happy to try and take care of you best we can. And then he also traded in another very kind of an underrated model here. And these come out like 750. These come out in a great price point now because they've been made two or three times over they've been kind of uh reconfigured a little bit so this is the mexican series just the deluxe jazz bass 
active and passive electronics in it. Now, the one thing I think that is it, I wouldn't even call it a detriment. I think the one feature that people miss on this is that you don't have a passive tone control on there. So it's really in the passive setting, just volume and pickup selector. You, you disengage the EQ so you don't have a tone control on it. But I've said this in videos on like the player plus P, P basses, J basses, whatever you want to say. That passive switch on there, these basses sound the best in active. The passive switch is just a nice fail safe if you're on a gig and your battery dies and you, know, you just got to like get through the tune. Uh, but very cool. These, th these sound great, play great. Little or a little, excuse me, a little, having trouble talking today. A little on the heavy side on these guys, but that's kind of par for the course with them. And then one more, we go up to another American made, the Getty Lee. I think one of the best sounding production level jazz basses you're ever going to find. Um, I know our, our local guy and uh, YouTube celebrity Paul Thompson would agree that these are just fantastic basses. Super punchy 70s-ish jazz bass, but with kind of the Getty hit to it sonically. Uh, nice output. I love the white or cream block inlays on a maple board. Very unique. These almost have like a golden look to them. Bound neck on that. Got a little Getty signature on the back. Great bass. And then two getting a lot of music man stuff in which is cool ernie ball because we're not a dealer for that stuff so anytime we get a chance to grab it um we do so stingray five light weight for a stingray this thing's really nice neodymium magnets look at that roasted maple neck this thing's crushing i love these things um always had an affection for the stingray base ever since the uh flea vhs tape back in the day with river phoenix uh interviewing him that was such an influential thing on me and he played the music man and that so ever since then i've been a fan then you got get into lewis johnson which was the same like whatever the star licks or hot licks videos uh back in the day i remember my dad bringing that stuff home for me to watch on vhs tape and we had flea doing the slap and then like learning like the lewis johnson with the crazy slap stuff was on a very similar base. I love these in natural with the with the black guard on it. Active electronics, you, the, the Music Man sound is unlike anything we get out of the Fender. It's very, very unique. It's very uh, definitive. And I think it's a very important part of the, the lineage of modern bass. So neodymium magnets in that, bright, punchy, crisp, articulate here, is another music man but in a sterling in lava red very cool pick guard on that i love what this is what they call it i'm not making this up the toilet seat pick guard because well i'm just leave that up to you guys to interpret uh, but this has the ceramic magnets in it so a little more traditional in the type of pickup that's in that uh a little warmer warmer is the wrong word because they're, they're always bright but there's a presence in the mid-range that is a, just different than what you get out of the neodymium magnets. Not quite as much on the top end of it, but tons of uh, capability tonally with this. Beautiful looking instrument. I always thought the Sterlings were such a cool take on the Music Man aesthetic. It's like slightly smaller body shape. This one's a little heavier though with all these magnets in there versus the, uh, the Stingray 5, which that thing is absolutely, that's a monster looking bass. So I told you we had some great basses. I wasn't lying. It just took me a couple extra weeks to get to it. Uh, this is old this week. Trade and trade up event. Got a couple more weeks on that. Reach out to us with your trade. Any electric guitar or bass, $7.99 and above, we'll give you 20, uh, sorry, we'll give you 15% off. 20% on select Taylor inventory. Uh, there's links below to that stuff on YouTube. If you go to that Taylor inventory in checkout, for the coupon code, type in NAM24 and save 20% off all of that stuff. It's a really, really, really good deal. So if you're in the acoustic guitar market, I know I'm not showing that stuff off. That's a great place to be. So this is all this week. Joe will be back for you next week. And I'll see you for the new this week. Next week. This week. Next week. See you then.